By the way, Matt Tucci, oh, you're the guy that emailed me. Hold up, hold up. So a while ago, I'm pretty sure you commented that you were working on a deep fake of me and the kid from Up. A deep fake's like, you know, where you superimpose somebody's face on somebody else's face in video. Like in photography, you can Photoshop someone's head on somebody else's very easily, but in video, it's a lot more difficult. Yeah, it is very hard. It took three days to train the AI to recognize your face, Potato Jet, and also Russell's face, the kid from Up. So when he said he was working on one with me and the kid from Up, I was like, huh, very funny. But then he sends me this email, which I don't know what any of this technical looking stuff, does, but it looks legit. And it's photos of me and then the kid from Up. What is that? What? What is that? The one up top, I look like that Pokemon Ditto. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. I look like Ditto trying to impersonate me, you know? So the first face is the original face. I took that screenshot from your video, right? And the second face of yours is what the AI sees. It tries to recreate your face and the more you train it, the more accurate it is. Same with the, the second one with the kid from up. The third one, you know, the one that you said it looks like a Pokemon. That's the final product. That face is what the computer recreates to match both the original footage and the footage I'm putting on. So the proportion is accurate. And that is just scary. That's what I would look like if I don't start my diet right now. <laughs> the only reason I did this is because it's memeable. And if you don't believe me, look at the size of my belly. That's, that would be considered like being racist to your own race if I make fun of you like that. I mean, we pretty much have the same lifestyle as a YouTuber, but you earn more money than I do. <laughs> and I've been doing it for four years. I don't know what to say, Matthew. Like, I wanna say, stop it right now. Stop messing around with my face, that's weird. But at the same time, I'm so curious what you're gonna do, so maybe, I, I don't know. So you're curious about it, right? <laughs> Well, enjoy the video. But I got sent a few interesting things this weekend. <laughs> First of all, the Matt 222. How did you do that? Must have taken you a decent amount of time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> In. Huh. I've never been in a floating house before. Paradise Falls, a land lost in time. You're going to South America, mister? But you're smart because you'll have all your TV and clocks and stuff. Whoa, is this how you steer your house? Huh? Does it really work? Yeah. Oh, this makes it go right and that way left. Hey, look, buildings. That building's so close, I can almost touch it. Well, that's not gonna work. I know that cloud is a cumulonimbus. Did you know that the cumulonimbus where did my glasses go? 